All right, everybody. Time for a rant. This has bothered me for, for a long time. And I saw, of all people, Dave Weckl posted this in his private Facebook group. And it's about sticks. It's about warming up. It's about practicing with sticks that you're not going to use. For me, it was, it was basically being indoctrinated into the thought process that you should warm up with heavier sticks and that way you're building wrist strength and finger strength and, and all this stuff. And I did it for years, decades. I'm 52. I've been doing this for, you know, four decades. And in my own case, I can remember, well, let's go back a second. What? Why even do that? Why? What, what was the thinking behind this? What is the thinking behind this? And it comes, the, the best way I can describe this is when you see a baseball player get into the batter's box and put that weighted donut on his bat. Now, I used to play baseball. We did it. We always put the weighted donut in, took some swings with that much heavier bat, and then step up to, to hit the ball, and, and hopefully you know your swing was quicker and, and whatnot. For drummers, it, I guess the real, the real thought process behind this is that the weighted stick, heavier stick or whatnot, will, will build wrist strength and all of this. And I went with this for years, for decades. And one thing that would always happen to me is that I would warm up with the, with the heavier sticks, marching sticks specifically for me, and... It was fine. I'd warm up. I'd play rudiments. I'd play snare drum solos. I would just, you know, try and get technique things built. And then I would put those sticks down and I would go practice concert snare drum or drum set or anything else that didn't involve those sticks at all. And for years, literally, again, decades, I would get done with my warm ups and I'd go to play and I'd have to think about the difference in the stick weight, the stick thickness, the stick length, and then readjust so that I could play what I needed to play. About eight years ago, seven, eight years ago, that was really bothering me. And I decided, okay, I'm going to put these sticks away. I'm going to put the marching sticks away and I'm going to spend one week not using them at all. I'm going to warm up with my drum set sticks or my concert sticks or whatnot, whatever I'm about to do. And then I'm going to, to see what happens. Well, <laughs> day one comes and I have my drum set sticks in my hand and I've got my pad in front of me. And psychologically, I was having an issue. I was thinking to myself, this is wrong. This is totally wrong. Because I've been doing it for decades, you know. It's been ingrained in me. And I'm thinking, this is totally wrong. And I don't know if I can get through this. It was just really bizarre. So I made myself do it. And it was awkward. And, you know, it, yeah, it was awkward. So then I go on to day number two, doing the same thing. And again, psychologically, I'm, I'm stressing myself out over this. It's like, am I missing something by not having these weighted marching sticks in my hand to warm up with? And this is so weird and awkward. Day three shows up and finally, I'm starting to not care. And by the end of this little week experiment, week long, not week, you get what I mean. <laughs> um, by the end of that, that week... Uh, it didn't matter anymore. I didn't care. The sticks were fine. I was playing rudiments. I was playing rudimental solos on the pad just to, you know, to get chopped things together and whatnot. But the biggest takeaway was not necessarily the psychological thing the first few days of looking down and, and going, wow, this feels really weird. But it was on day one, from warming up on the pad with my drum set sticks to going to my drum set to play, I didn't have to think about it. I had nothing to adjust. 
I could just do it. I just played. There was no adjustment period. And, and it really made me think about this going, why am I doing this with these weighted sticks? Uh, I did it with marching sticks. Uh, and there's nothing against marching sticks. I'm going to get to that in a second. But I was using heavy marching sticks to warm up and then go do everything else with my regular sticks. There are also, I don't know if these still exist. I, I didn't look it up, but there used to be these metal sticks specifically for warm-ups that were heavy, heavy metal sticks. Not like the music, but metal drumsticks that were heavy. And I, I played with some of those. A couple of my friends got them or whatnot. They were very awkward to play with. You know, I suppose if you, if you worked with them a lot, it became easy. But, and again, I don't know if they make those anymore. You might have to look those up. But I'm definitely not suggesting getting those, <laughs> okay? I just, it just didn't, once you figure it out, you're just kind of like, why are we doing this? And in this, in Dave Weckl's private Facebook page, and he, somebody asked him that question, and he came back and he said, there's no real reason, I mean, why, basically, he, he questioned the whole practice, saying, why? Why would you do that? You should be warming up, practicing, and getting used to the implement that you are going to use. And, and this was just a few days ago that I saw that. But then I looked back on my last few years, and I was realizing, too, that with my students, because I was sort of indoctrinated into this way of thinking, and not really knowing, I was indoctrinating students into this way of thinking. And like I said, about seven, eight years ago, I made the change. And then I noticed that my students were having the same issue I was having. They'd always have to make that weird adjustment for about a couple of minutes to get used to playing. So I started one by one changing how, how I was uh, explaining that to students and saying, look, put the marching sticks down, uh, grab your regular sticks, let's go Let's do, you know, work with your regular sticks. Or if we're working a concert snare drum solo or whatnot, break out your concert sticks. And it was an overnight change. It was literally, literally an overnight change. So over the last seven years since I've made that change, I am a convert. I, I literally do not believe in weighted warm-up sticks or pad sticks or the, the heavy metal sticks. I think it's a waste of time. I think you're not doing yourself any favor by doing that. Are you building wrist strength? Arguably, yes. But at what cost? Is your playing better? Or are you just building wrist strength? I'm finding that, that especially with me and the students that I have, and it's not just one or two students, it's been multiple students over the last seven years at 100% proof that you don't need a weighted stick to warm up. Warm up with what you're going to be playing with, okay? Now, I mentioned I'd get to marching sticks. If you are going to, or if you're in a school situation, because I teach here at Faith Lutheran, uh, middle school through high school, if you're, in a, if you're in a high school situation that has a, has a hardcore marching band, and by that, I mean you have your marching season, which is football and marching competition. And then you stretch that into winter line, winter drum line. And you kind of go all year round with it. Fantastic. Use the marching sticks. That's the implement you're using. That's what you should be warming up with. Okay. For us here, we have a marching season that lasts pretty much 11 weeks uh, in the fall. Football season through marching competitions. And past that, we're a percussion ensemble school. So it doesn't make any sense for us to keep using the marching sticks. So during marching season, sure, we're, I've got everybody using heavy, heavier sticks because that's what we're using all the time for 11 weeks. Okay, The other 41 weeks, we need to be using other implements. So we need to be warming up with that. So for our instance, like I said, marching season, we're going to use marching sticks. And then we're going to transition into concert sticks or drum set sticks or whatnot for the rest of the year and it's been working flat out it's worked there i it has worked for us completely so 
that's my rant. I don't believe in in weighted warm up sticks or pad sticks or or any of that. I warm up with what you're going to use. Okay, warm up with what you are going to use. Nothing, nothing different. You know, I'm sure someone will make some argument, you know, against this on here, and that's perfectly fine. But maybe some people will go, well, you're warming up on a pad, but you're playing on a drum set, drum head, which is totally different. Well, yeah, you're right, it is. And but the implement you're using, your snare drum head is different than your floor tom head. <laughs> You know, snare head's much tighter, and the floor tom, which you're going to play on in just a few seconds anyway, is looser. So, but the implement that's in your hand that you're striking with, I think needs to be the same all the time. All right? So, if you made it to the end of this video, which I hope you did, I l honestly want to hear your take on this down in the comments. Please put down there... You know, do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? If you disagree with me, please tell me why. Like I said, my experience has been get rid of the pad stick. Get rid of the, the heavy stick to warm up with. Okay, warm up with what you are about to use or what you use all the time. All right. Okay, folks, there's my rant. Rant over. My first rant video ever. And... <laughs> Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Please share the video. And until the next time, folks, we'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye.